In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the different ways of getting roses consistently in the game and how you can get enough roses to max out at least one babe every single month. These are things that you can start doing right away after watching this video if you meet the requirements. So that being said, let's get right into it. The first way of getting roses is obviously the free roses that you get every single day from the game. You get 9 free roses every single day. The only condition to get these free roses is that the number of roses you have should be lower than the rose limit of your mansion. So for me at mansion 26, my rose limit is 65 roses. So if I have 65 or more roses already, then I won't be able to get these 9 daily free roses. If I have let's say 60 roses, then the next day I'll only get 5 roses instead of 9 roses because after getting 5 roses, I've reached my rose limit. So at mansion 26, if I want to get these 9 daily roses, then the number of roses that I have should be 56 or lower. You can have as many roses as you want in your inventory. As long as you don't use them, you should be able to get these free roses. So the only way you can mess this up is by using the roses that you have in your inventory. The best way to not mess this up is to keep all of your roses in your inventory so that you're always getting free roses every single day. And if you're getting closer to your maximum rose limit, then you simply spend roses to buy items from the yacht to bring that number down so you can get 9 more roses the next day. So that's the easiest way of getting roses every single day. The next way is by buying roses directly from the yacht. Roses can be bought from the yacht either using resource production items or using gold. If you see any deals that give you roses for resource production items, you should always get them without looking at the price because they're always worth it. Then for me personally, I like paying 70 gold or less per rose. So I buy the following deals. One rose for 40 gold, 3 roses for 160 gold, 10 roses for 650 gold, and 5 roses for 350 gold. Anything above 70 gold per rose I do not buy, but if you think it's worth it then feel free to buy those as well. You can get about 5 to 10 roses daily from the yacht. Make sure that after you've bought all your roses from the yacht that you send back the yacht for it to get more items. Because once you send it back, it'll return after a few minutes with new items which could include more offers that give you roses in exchange for gold or resource production items. Then there is the SVIP store. Now in order to access the SVIP store, you first need to be SVIP 10. This is extremely difficult to do if you're a new player. Because first you need to go from VIP 1 to VIP 10, then you unlock SVIP 1, and then you need to go all the way from SVIP 1 to SVIP 10 to unlock the SVIP store. But just doing that is not enough, because after you unlock the SVIP store, you have to get it to level 2 to be able to buy roses from the SVIP store. Once you have a level 2 SVIP store, you can buy up to 20 roses per day from there using 40 SVIP points. 40 SVIP points is equivalent to 800 VIP points. So you're spending 800 VIP points to get 20 roses, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal. Then there's the family store. You unlock this store at level 16, and this store can also be leveled up just like the SVIP store. I don't know the exact levels at which you unlock roses at this store, but there are two tiers of roses that you can buy. The first tier gives you 20 roses for 700 points each, and then the second tier, which unlocks at a higher level, gives you 10 more roses, but for 900 points each. So you can get up to 30 roses every single day from the family store. And then you have the plantation or the garden store. From here you can buy 5 roses every single day for 150 points each. And finally the last way of getting roses, which is also the one that gives you the most roses, is the personal or the individual events. These are events that happen throughout the day and they refresh every 3 hours. Doing some of these events can give you roses. Now the number of roses you get depends upon your mansion level. 
For example, at mansion level 26, I get 8 roses per individual event, while at mansion level 30, you can get up to 10 roses per individual event, but you'll also have to score more points to get them. For mansion 26s, you need to score up to 250 points to get these 8 roses, while for mansion 30s, you usually need to score 300,000 points to get 10 roses. The easiest way to score these points is to train troops. Now, if you look at my training camps, you'll notice that I train very strange numbers of troops. For example, for T7 bulkers, I'm training exactly 5,000, which isn't that strange. But then for T9 bikers, I'm training 3,572 of them. And for T8 vehicles, I'm training 4,167 of them. The reason why I'm training these strange numbers is because once they're finished training, they'll either give me exactly 250,000 points or a little above that, which means every time I finish training one set of these troops, I'll be able to claim all of the milestone rewards in the individual event. Sometimes even when my troops are done training, I do not collect them because I wait for the next individual event to do so so that I can get my free roses as well. So if you're not doing this, then I'd highly recommend doing it from now on. If you have a mansion 30 or a higher level mansion, then you'll have to score 300,000 points every single individual event. And if that's the case, you'd want to train 3,750 tier 10 troops in each of your camps. This is because claiming troops from any one of those camps will give you exactly 300,000 points, which will give you your free roses from the individual event as well. In my opinion, you can get about 40 roses every single day from the individual events if you have a level 30 mansion and are quite active in the game. So now if we add up all of these daily sources of roses, you'll notice that you can get more than 100 roses every single day. Now let's talk about a few ways of saving roses. One way of saving roses is, by, is while buying gifts. There are two ways of buying gifts for babes. You can either buy them directly from the yacht or you can synthesize them. For purple gifts, you never synthesize them because it costs you two blue gifts to synthesize. And two blue gifts cost you 30 roses at the yacht. However, buying a purple gift directly from the yacht costs you only 25 roses. This means you're losing 5 roses every time you synthesize a purple gift. And for gold gifts, you always want to synthesize them, since you need 3 oranges to make a gold gift which costs 195 roses in total. However, if you buy them from the yacht directly, then it costs you 200 roses, and so you're losing 5 roses for every gold gift you buy from the yacht. And now the most important way of saving roses in the game is to make sure that you're using your roses to max out your babes only during the babe operation event. Now if you're confused, the babe operation event is an event that usually happens whenever they add a new paid babe in the game. For example, in the past there was Hayoon's operation event, Kitty's operation event, Roxy's operation event, etc. These operation events are different from the Heartbeat Island Romance events. Because the Heartbeat Island Romance events give you a bonus on your jewelry cards, while the operation events give you a bonus on the amount of favor you get for using roses. Every time you play the cup game, you get some extra bonus favor. So, so what you want to do is you want to save all of your roses for these operation events and then use them all at once to max out multiple babes at a time. It may take months for these operation events to show up because they're not as frequent as the Heartbeat Island romance events, but it is totally worth waiting for them. There's a video of me maxing out 6 of my babes using 15,000 roses during one of these operation events. I'll leave a link to it in the description and also in the pinned comment if you want to check it out. In that video, it took me about 2,500 roses to max out each babe, while it normally takes me about 3,000 roses. So I definitely recommend waiting for the babe operation event to show up before you use your roses in the game. Till then, you simply hoard your roses and wait for the event. Now let's talk about a few more ways that you can get roses. First, there's clan challenges. You can get up to 20 roses from here because you can do up to 4 challenges per day. And every time you beat a vicious gunman, you get 5 roses. 
In my opinion, however, this event is totally not worth it because you need 25 energy just to do one attack on the vicious gunman, which gives you garbage rewards. So I do not recommend doing this event, which is why I haven't included it in my daily list. However, if your clan does it, you'll still get 5 free bonus roses every single day. Then there is the wealth battle that is the nightclub event from where you can get jewelry boxes which can be used to get a ton of roses. Then there is a slammer. This is something you can do every single week. It's mainly good for family gold and jewelry cards but you can also get a few roses from there as well especially whenever you do it for the first time during the week. Then you have fortune events like the heartbeat island romance event that can give you up to 3 roses per day for doing the daily tasks. You can also get some extra roses from the milestone rewards and you can almost get 100 roses from the achievement tasks. And finally you have weekly events that can also give you roses. For example right now there's this soccer event going on from where you can buy 55 roses for 1500 soccer tokens which can easily be done for free. So those were all the ways you can get roses as well as how you can save roses in the game. Since it costs you about 2500 roses to max out a babe, if you're getting more than 100 roses every single day, you can easily get enough roses to max out a babe every single month. However, you want to make sure that you don't max them out immediately. Make sure that you wait for the next operation event to use up all of your roses so that you can save a ton of them while doing so. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. You can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.